hello and welcome. In this video, we will help you to read the class schedule for Solano Community College and hopefully enable you with a better understanding in what to look for when picking your classes. So the first step is to go to our main website, solano.edu. The next step is to scroll down and look for the square icon that says schedule of classes. I'm gonna click on this. It will take you to a new window with the class finder. Here you can filter by semester you are applying for, filter by subject, and if necessary, filter by location. You can also do other things in this window as well, such as keywords and filter the class status. Please note that you can select multiple subjects and locations by holding down on the control slash command key while clicking with the mouse, such as I'm doing here. For this example, I'm going to show you a communications course in the fall. So I'm going to scroll down and look for communication studies. And then I'm going to hit submit. I'm going to leave it at all locations so that we can just see all the options. So now we are looking at all the communication classes that are offered in the fall in all locations. How we tell the difference between all of these is by the course number and descriptions that are listed up at the top. For example, we have COM1, and we have down here COM2, and COM6, and quite a few others. This is also where you can look to see if the class has any prerequisites. It's usually listed here. And these are classes that you need to have taken before taking the class. But please note that course advisories are not the same as prerequisites. It is simply a suggestion that you should have basic skills in certain areas before taking the course, but it is not mandatory unlike the prerequisite. There are many communication classes available to all students, but in this example, I'm going to focus on public speaking. And as you can see, there is a lot of information, but we'll start from the beginning. The location. Above the class listings, there are bars that separate the locations. There's main campus, there's the Vacaville Center, Vallejo Center, and sometimes Travis Air Force Base. Make sure that the class you are looking at is underneath the right location. And the status here on the far left hand side tells you if the class is open, waitlisted, or in some cases restricted. Open means that the class is available to sign up for right now. Waitlisted means that you will need to wait until a spot opens up in the class. And restricted means that the class is reserved for a particular body of students usually involved in a program. The next important one to note is the CRN number. This will be important later because you will be using this number to register for your classes. Once you know that a class is going to fit with your schedule, you're going to either write this number down or copy it. The units are pretty self-explanatory. Units basically just tell you how many units the class is worth. Days are listed by letter. So M is for Monday, T is for Tuesday, W is Wednesday, R is Thursday, Friday is F, and then Saturdays, if we ever have Saturday classes, those are listed as S. Sunday is rare, but those should be listed under U. There's next going to be the times, and that's pretty self-explanatory as well. It just tells you what time the class will be held. The next important one would be the building and room number. This tells you where the class is being held and it goes in the order of the building and then the room. Enrolled tells you how many students are currently in the class. Capacity is how many students can be enrolled in the class. And then open slash wait tells you how many students are waiting if there is a wait list and also how many openings there are if the class is open. For example, with this one, there's 13. 
The next important thing would be the instructor's email. And as you can see here, they're listed right next to the open and wait. It has the professor's name and their email for Solano. The start end date tells you what day classes will start and when it will end. As you can see with some of them, they are half semester classes, such as this one that begins in October and ends in December as opposed to beginning in August. But bear in mind that these kinds of classes sometimes can run, run longer time-wise than a regular class. Finally, the last section tells you how many weeks the class will run. Typically, a standard full semester class runs about 18 weeks, but as you can see, the shorter ones are about eight weeks. Now that you understand all these sections, let's address a few differences that can occur in some of the classes.